guys, welcome back. So today is obviously going to be, as you can tell from the title, my September favorites. I'm going to try to keep this video on the shorter side because if you can't hear, I'm like super congested and sick for some reason and it's really pissing me off, but whatever. So let's just get right into it. Um, I have a bunch of stuff sitting on my lap, so I'm just going to kind of go into that in no particular order. Um, my first thing is kind of a rediscovered favorite. It is the Garnier BB Cream um, in Light Medium. I might have talked about this before. It is my absolute favorite BB Cream like ever. It's amazing and it's really really good for your skin and um, I think they redid the formula which is normally a bad thing for products that I really like but now I think it just gives a little bit even more coverage which is a really nice thing so I highly recommend this. It is from the drugstore. It's not inexpensive but it is on the lower end of things so I highly highly recommend this. Um, I like the old packaging better but aside from that the new formula is amazing. I guess I'll just keep going with like makeup stuff and then move into other things. Um, the next thing is also a rediscovered favorite. It is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. This is like an under eye concealer. I really like the applicator of this. It's just kind of like this spongy tip and it feels really nice on your eyes. It also doesn't like tug at it or anything. And I personally get super, super horrible dark circles under my eyes because I have horrible insomnia. So this has been an absolute lifesaver for me. I've used it in the past and I recently picked up a new one and I really, really like it still. Next two products are eye and brow products. The first one is the Ofra Eyebrow Pencil. It says Universal. I'm not sure if that's the color. Um, it's brown. I don't know what Universal means. Um, it's a little dark. I actually can't imagine that this would work well for everybody, so I don't know if they make other colors, but I've really, really been liking this. I don't generally like brow pencils because I think they can look a little bit harsh, but this one looks very, very natural. I highly recommend this. I got it in my Ipsy bag, so I'm not exactly sure where you can get a hold of it, but I'll try to find it online and link it down below. Also for my Ipsy bag, I got the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara, which I kept meaning to try, but Urban Decay mascaras are ridiculously overpriced. But I'm really, really glad I got this. Um, it's a sample size, so it's super small, but I've been using it every single day. I find that these tend to last a really long time anyway, so I'm not that bothered by it. Um, this is what the brush looks like. It's amazing. It's everything I like in a mascara. It makes my lashes just long and dark and voluminous, and I highly recommend this if you want to spend a little extra money on a mascara. Generally, I think that drugstore brands work just as well, but this one is amazing. Next is a lip product. It is what is on my lips right now. It is the Kaylin Lip Gloss, Tinted Lip Gloss in Love Affair. This is really, really great for fall. It is a gloss, so it's like a gloss consistency, but the color is beautiful. It's a really, really good option if you kind of like experimenting with darker lips, but it's not something that you generally wear every day. For example, me, I never wear dark lip colors, but this one I find is really, really wearable. It's really comfortable on the lips. It's not sticky and it doesn't dry out. So I'm a huge, huge fan of this. I've been wearing it a ton. I have a perfume and an eye cream. Those don't go together at all, but I'm going to show you them both. Um, the perfume is Clinique's Happy. I've been wearing this for a really long time, and I actually stopped wearing it for a little bit. I don't really know why, but my parents just bought me a new one for my birthday and so I've been back to wearing it every single day. It smells so good, I can't get over it. Even though I'm super congested and can't smell anything, I know for a fact that this smells really nice. The eye cream that I'm randomly showing you right after my perfume is the Burt's Bees Brightening Eye Treatment with Daisy Extract. Blah blah blah. Daisy Extract. I bought this because I was using the Burt's Bees Brightening Face Wash, which I also really liked, but I finished up and I'll talk about that in a second. Um, I really like the applicator of this. It's like this weird little pointed tip and you can squeeze the product out that, but I like to squeeze it right onto my face and then just pat it in. It does really brighten. The next thing I'm only going to talk about for literally two seconds because I am filming a video coming up on it comparing it to the MAC Cleanse Off Oil and it is the Garnier Clean Plus Nourishing Cleansing Oil. I've been using this to take my eye makeup off. Spoiler alert for the upcoming video, I do really, really like this. The idea is that it's like an inexpensive cleansing oil. So keep your eyes peeled for a video on this. I've been breaking out a ton this month, so the two products that I've been using to help clear that up are the Philosophy Purity Made Simple Cleanser, which I've never tried, but I definitely understand why it's such a cult favorite. It's just like very soothing and calming to your skin and it really like cuts through tough makeup so I've really been liking this and then I also picked up this watermelon aloe at Walgreens and I use like a thin layer of this on any blemishes because it helps repair your skin and I just like this one because it smells super good it's really great for helping to clear up your skin in a more natural way than a harsh spot treatment and for my last favorite of this month and every month, but especially this month because today is National Coffee Day, I have coffee. I was going to show you guys a full cup of coffee, but then I drank it the whole time that I was filming this video. 
I did get this for free for National Coffee Day. So National Coffee Day is, I guess, my monthly favorite and coffee is my every single day of my life favorite because I'm addicted. You can probably hear all the ice. Is that really annoying? Okay, I'm gonna put it down now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe and thumbs up if you did. Like I said, keep an eye out. I have an empties video coming up and also a Garnier Cleanse Off Oil versus MAC Cleanse Off Oil video. And yeah, I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.